On the conversation uh, Monday, uh, I enjoyed it, by the way. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> I got a little tell of my own. Paul, I uh, grew up in uh, Alabama and uh, was raised as a uh, racist. Were you? And I was very proud of it. My uh, father was in the KKK. All my uncles were. But in 1967, uh, I joined the uh, Marine Corps. I uh, considered myself uh, strong, brave, and stupid, so I wanted to go to Vietnam, mm. and I got my wish. Uh, first day there, <clears throat> as big a redneck as I was, I met probably uh, the most militant acting and talking uh, black person that was ever uh, on the face of the earth. Less than an hour after we met, we tried to kill each other. Uh, and we tried to kill each other for the next couple of weeks, about every day, till our gunny sergeant took us aside and said, next time that happens, you're going home on a bad conduct discharge. So we put aside our differences <clears throat> and uh, turned out to be fair soldiers. We uh, uh, still had strong animosity, uh, but over the next 20, over the next two years, uh, he saved my life a couple of times. I saved his a couple of times. And we didn't need one of us want to leave Vietnam. <clears throat> we spent 22 of, 22 of the 24 months, between 67 and 69, there. Too much we were. Uh, being treated in the Philippines, but in '69 we uh, we both had to uh, <clears throat> had to uh, leave, and uh, I moved back to uh, Alabama and went to school. He moved back to Detroit and uh, and uh, resumed his ways. Uh, after I got out of college, as dumb as I was, I managed to get an engineering degree. <laughs> And uh, I talked to him a few times over those years. We had become, uh, I guess you could call, friends. And he was not having it too good in Detroit. And I said, well, come on down here. and we'll, You can go to work for the same company I am. So he did. And he wound up working for me. Wow. And he, uh, <clears throat> he, uh, he decided he'd go to school and get his degree, which he did. And... He decided he wanted to outdo me, which he always did. He went on and got his master's degree, and I wound up working for him. <laughs> and 32 years ago, come uh, April 3rd of this year, Paul, I will have been married to his sister for 32 years. Wow. Uh, we both had... Uh, so now, you're, you, now, now you're, wor you're working for her. Yeah. He was the best man at my wedding. That's incredible. Uh, that's a, that's had, an incredible story. We had two story. sons apiece. All four of them graduated uh, from the University of Alabama. And Anybody ever tell you this would be a good book? Yeah, probably would be. Nobody would believe it. <laughs> this, this would be a great book and movie. But uh, we've, uh, we've had a good life, and uh, he lives about uh, three houses down now, and we still, uh, we still try to... Uh, lie as much as we can about our war war exploits but <laughs> uh it just goes show proof uh goes to prove paul that uh <clears throat> anything can happen to a former racist you never know that uh really is an incredible story uh just a, just an extraordinary uh piece of uh, history there well he uh he turned out to be a lot better than i thought he was at first and i hope i did too <laughs>